Hello friends and welcome into a new day. Jesus is Lord and his Lordship is forever. Can we just go ahead and appreciate him? Let's enter his gates with thanksgiving, enter his course with praise. <laughs> he allowed you to open your eyes this morning so you can glorify him. You did not pay him any dime to open your eyes. Come on, give him glory, give him praise. <laughs> he is the Alpha and the Omega. When he offers it, he omegas it. Give him glory everywhere on this prayer altar. Ziketepe is the governor of all nations. Somebody help me appreciate him. His mercies endure it forever. It is of his mercies that we are not consumed. Somebody give him glory. He is the sustainer of our destiny. He is the king of glory. Thank you, our Father, for decorating us with your glory. We have come this morning to return thanksgiving. We have come this morning to mark attendance and to say we are grateful. Hallowed be your name. We join the 20 and the 4 elders to celebrate you, the one that loved us with an everlasting love. Hallowed will be your name be magnified emmanuel is your name and we know you are with us hello will be your name zikenemo zinekalananamos indrakalagadabos lord we want to say we love you ziketepelegedusha thank you our god wonder walking god is your name mighty healer is your name be magnified be glorified sweet holy spirit we want to tell you we love you ziketepelegedusha you look beautiful in a new day hello will be god for we worship with thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is Spirit Praise Daily Devotional and Spirit Praise Daily Devotional comes your way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network. It comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you ablaze for God all day. And our topic for today says, Say no to daily pressures. So briefly this morning, we take our Bible reading from Genesis 39 verse 9 to 12. And the Bible says, There is none greater in this house than I, neither hath he kept back anything from me but thee, because thou art his wife. How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? And it came to pass, as he spake to Joseph day by day, that he hearkened not unto her, to lie by her, or to be with her. And it came to pass, about this time, that Joseph went into the house to do his business. And there was none of the men of the house there within. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. Friends, I wish to start by saying that Joseph triumphed over the sin of sexual immorality has so much lessons to every youth on the line. We live in a dispensation where sexual purity is gradually ebbing. Now, when you read from the beginning of Genesis 39, you will discover that Joseph was a God-fearing young man who found favor with God at the early stage of his life. After being sold into slavery and brought into Potiphar's house, he chose to maintain righteous living until one day he had the greatest shock of his life. Now, hear me, every youth on the line, and listen carefully. At this stage of your life, temptations and shocks are bound to come. But hear me and hear me well. What you do when they come matters a lot. In fact, how you handle them at arrival will determine your destiny, either directly or indirectly. So watch and be careful. Young people on the line, follow me closely this morning. From where we have just read, you will discover that Joseph did not go looking for opportunity to fall or somersault into the scene of sexual immorality to start explaining to people, no. But even in his determination to live righteously, the temptation to sin still came. What am I saying? No matter how holy or righteous you claim to be, temptation will still come. I said it will still come. But I say again to you, your decision to overcome lies in your power. As we can see from our text, I usually tell our youth in Pleasant Garden that whether you will overcome or succumb to the temptation when it comes is a power of choice. Can I hear you say it's a power of choice? It's a power of choice. Friend, I say to you again, it's a power of decision. Now hear this. Joseph's parents were not there in that room with him on that faithful day. But he chose to overcome the sin of having sex with Madam of the house, Madam Potiphar. If I may ask, 
young person don't you think that even though that your mom or dad is not right there with you as i'm speaking right now yet you can boldly say no to that sexual pressure that is presently confronting you as i'm speaking now yes you can young person i said yes you can now wait a minute do you know that some young people today will still make what i call an irreversible mistake based on choice but I pray for every young person listening to this broadcast this morning that you will not be a victim but you will choose sexual purity and it will be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen let me hear a bigger Amen from the other side Amen now look at verse 10 again I read from the New Living Translations she kept putting pressure on Joseph day after day but he refused to sleep with her and listen to this he Joseph kept out of her way as much as possible hi Kalian friends the temptation the pressure was coming on daily basis Kalian but Joseph kept out of her way Kalian come on friends it could even be coming in form of text messages calls email <laughs> whatsapp messages you know it could even be by daily visits but Joseph kept out of her way. Shakian de Regede Lagadouche, I don't know who you are, but God sent me this morning to say to you, you can actually overcome that temptation today. Kalian de Regede Lagadouche, you can actually keep out of her way and out of his way. Kalian de Regede Lagadouche, Zeketepe Legede Lagadouche, I say to you again, you can actually overcome that temptation today. Kalian de Regede Lagadouche, and if you do, God told me he will be proud of you. Zeketepe and he told me he will honor you the way he honored Joseph. This word is for someone on the line right now. Now as we pray, can I let you know that as Joseph triumphed over the daily pressure of sexual immorality, God's desire in this season is that you too you shall triumph. In fact, at this point, I encourage you to get a copy of my book titled Overcoming Youthful pressure i'm sure it will speak volume of what i'm trying to communicate to you this morning kalia kagadaba legedede lagadush now never forget that joseph abandoned his garment and flee naked just to secure his destiny i tell our youths that he abandoned his garment began his destiny and a glorious future kalia kagadaba legedede lagadush and did god honor him friend i said and did god honor him yes he did publicly and gloriously now as you move around today and in this new week always remember the question he put to himself that got him out of the seductive net of madame potiphar together let's go that question is in genesis 39 verse 9b let's go together how then can i do this great wickedness and sin against god hey kalia kagadaba legedede lagadosh now hear me friend as i conclude my prayer for you is that this question shall become your ringing tune i said it shall become your ringing tune as you move around today and as you face the youthful pressure of your generation on daily basis and i pray for you may you never disappoint god today and hereafter in jesus most precious name we prayed amen let us pray now hear me someone on the line it is only one life to live avoid wasting it in sin don't be deceived because the consequences of sin is death the bible says in proverbs 14 verse 12 there is a way that cement right unto a man but the end thereof leadeth to death i would like to pray for someone on the line who is saying barrister joy i'm tired of sin i want to surrender my life to jesus can i let you know that when you surrender your life to him he gives you the power to overcome every sort of sin including sexual immorality can you just quickly say after me those of you that are responding to this call if you are a backslider please i encourage you to please join them just quickly say after me my father in heaven i come to you this morning please forgive me please pardon me i'm very very sorry I'm a sinner. I have sinned against you, but I'm sorry. Lord Jesus, please forgive me. Give me the power to overcome sexual immorality and every sort of sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me the power not to fall into the daily pressure 
of my generation. Thank you, my father, for saving me. Please cancel my name from the book of death and write my name in the book of life and give me all it takes to work with you for the rest of my life. Thank you for serving me. Say that again. Thank you for serving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's matchless name, we prayed. Amen. And I decree and declare that this decision you have just taken shall forever remain permanent. Nothing can change it. In Jesus Christ's matchless name, I decree. Amen. I say a big congratulations to everyone that had just made this prayer. The Lord bless you, my God keep you, and keep you to the very end. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, amen. Now, if you just made this prayer, I would love you to contact me with your name and where you connected from. The details on the screen. Kalia Kagadaba Legedede Lagadush. Sense, let's go. What a blessed morning. Kalia Legedede Lagadush. What a beautiful day. Ziketepe Legedede Lagadush. Sina Kalia Kagadaba Legedede Lagadush. Now, just before we proceed, I would love us to sing this song. If you know it, please join me. Let's do it together. Mm. My body is your sanctuary. My body is your sanctuary. Mm. Purify me like a gold. Ah. So that I may be bold to say, my body is your sanctuary. Oh, my body is your sanctuary. <laughs> my body is your sanctuary purify me purify me like a gold ha, so that i may be bold to say my body is your sanctuary your body my friend is a sanctuary Oh, sing it as a commitment for the last time. Let's go together. Can somebody make that pledge before the Lord as we sing it for the last time just before we pray? Sing it as a pledge unto the Lord. Let's go. Mm, my body is your sanctuary. My body is your sanctuary. Purify me like a gold, ha, so that I may be bold to say, My body is your sanctuary. My body oh, is your sanctuary. Let's pray for our youth. They will not succumb to daily pressure. Somebody pray. They will overcome. I say pray. They will not succumb. Somebody pray. If you are a youth on the line, I want you to pray. Oh Lord, give me capacity to overcome sexual pressure when they come. Zikete pelegedos, malian deregedelegedos. I say pray. Zikete pelegedos. If you are a young person, don't close your mouth this morning. Zineke legedelegedos, zikete pelegedos. Everyone on the line, pray. Zineke lenenemos indra kalagada dabo shantelegedelegedos. Zineke legedelegedos. Send saturate the global airways in the tongues of the Holy Ghost. Zikete pelegedos, malian deregedelegedos, bralegedos, malia kagada daba legedelegedos, zikete pelegedos. Church, pray. Zikete pelegedos. Believer, pray. Zikete pelegedos. We will not lose them to the camp of the 
enemy. We will not lose them again. We recover their destinies on this global altar this morning. Pray. How can I do this great wickedness for everyone on the line, including myself? Can you pray? Pray for yourself. You will not embarrass God in this season. You will not embarrass God in these last days. The question remains How can I do this great wickedness? Everyone on the line pray. Pray for yourself. No spiritual cable should be weak this morning. Go in the Holy Ghost. He that prayeth in tongues, it defieth himself. It defies yourself this morning. The wind of sexual purity is blowing on the global airwaves. I see God distributing garments of purity. To his sons and daughters on this global altar this morning. Oh, glory to Jesus. Take your own. Some of you will wear this garment until Jesus comes. Father, we want to say thank you. <laughs> we want to appreciate you, my Father. Thank you for the distribution of the garment of sexual purity on this global prayer altar this morning. Thank you for distributing it on the global airways. We receive. We will not lose our youth. To the evils of this end time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Since you can continue from here after now. Father, we thank you. And we give you all the glory and all the praise. And I decree and declare. I decree and declare to everyone who has listened to this broadcast this morning. That from today, the overcomer's grace to live pure. And above compromise shall be released unto every listener to this broadcast. In the mighty in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you, my Father. Take all the glory. <laughs> Take all the praise. And reign forever. The King that never dies. In Jesus Christ's precious name we prayed. Amen. Go rule your day in partnership with the Holy Spirit. <laughs>